good morning what we have here are few microcontrollers and the development board for the respective microcontrollers from the left the first one is atmel product 89s52 and this is the programmer board for the respective ic programmer board is one used for uploading the code inside the ic the code will be developed in the desktop or the laptop systems using KL, AVR, IAR, CCS like IDE and once it is on the high level language that is embedded C is converted into hexadecimal values. Using this board the respective code will be uploaded inside it and the programmer and the processor will start running it. And you can see that this board is used as USB connectivity so it will be connected directly to the desktop or the laptop for downloading that is uploading the program into the IC. The second one is PIC RISC Processor 16F877A and this is the programmer for the respective IC. And you can clearly see that this board is using serial port and this board is using USB port. So it depends upon the learners uh, what kind of connectivity they need. Yeah. Most of the laptops nowadays doesn't have a serial port here. So if you have bought or if you are going to buy uh, programmer board which has got a serial port you also need to buy a serial to USB con converter and then you need to install the driver for it and then you use this particular board for downloading it it's not a big issue but uh, before trying to buy a programmer we need to keep in mind that what type of connectivity we are going to use it and what we have here is ARM processor LPC2148 header board particular board is called as header board since it doesn't have any other peripheral connector you can see clearly only the processor is present here only the processor is present here and the respective clock clusters once you flip the ICC you can see all the pins here we'll be using the ribbon cables like this for connecting to the respective pins for dry getting the input or getting the output from the ICs and the second one is another headed board LPC 1768 ARM Cortex M3 architecture and the third one is TM4C123G a product of Texas Instruments they'll be calling this board as evolution board because the company is providing this board, board or for checking the performance of the respective processor. You can just buy it or you can just get it at free of cost once you are participating in the contest they are conducting. Texas Instrument is conducting contest every year. We just need to send the proposals. If the proposal is accepted, they will provide you the development board. You can start developing code on the application in the respective board. And what we have here is the development board. Uh, this one is the header board. This is an evolution board and this is a development board and this is a programmer board. Every board has got its own name as, as the name specifies. This respective board is used for programming purpose. This respective board has got only the processor. This respective board is designed in the mind that to evaluate the performance of the IC and this respective board is used for development purpose. See you can see more a few peripherals are already placed here. A relay a few potentiometers, buses, LCD, everything. Apart from all the connections, the respective board is also providing some pins here through which we can directly connect the wires to the respective IC. Choosing a microcontroller for the project development is a easy one. We need to keep in mind that what process got what facility. Suppose if you are choosing Atmel 8 and S52 microcontroller for the project development. The thing is, the respective controller doesn't have analog to digital converter. So, to give the input to the respective IC, we need to have an external IC for converting analog values into digital, and the digital values will be fed into the controller and will be doing the processing. Suppose if you are choosing PIC process 16F877, this microcontroller has inbuilt analog to digital converter. So we need to give the analog value directly to the pins, convert it and do the processing. Suppose if you are choosing LPC2148 microcontroller, it has got more number of pins compared to this one, P2148. 
pick has got limited number this particular arm has more number of pins so it has it, this particular has about uh, two ports totally 64 pins are there so analog will be can be directly fed into these pins and we can convert it and do whatever the process whatever the operation is and the fourth one is lpc21 lpc1768 comparing to 214 it has got more number of general iwo pins and the last one is <coughs> arm cortex em4 architecture that is tm4c123g it has got more more compatible amount of analog pins what we have here is lpc2148 controller and its development board you can clearly see that this development board has got few peripherals connected relays buses some switches led and it has got a provision of connecting the keyboard directly and a zigbee protocol connectivity and if you are trying to connect peripherals apart from the developing board we'll be using these breakout pins and just connect it to whatever suppose if we are connecting to a rf module just we need to connect like this so you have different options like this so if you are uh, before going further we need to know more details about the processor you are using this processor lpc2148 has got totally 64 pins and two ports port namely port 0 and port 1 port 0 has got that is a 32 bit and port 1 is also 32 bit among the 32 bit in port 0 only 28 pins are available for the available for the programmer and port 1 15 pins are available for the programmers this particular processor has got inbuilt analog to digital converter digital to analog converters few timers uart fast i square c spi ssp protocols so we can use this particular processor for different applications before going for lpc1768 it is better practice to use lpc2148 for arm programming good morning we are going to develop code for lpc2148 to make an led blink we'll be using kyle ide for developing the code and we'll be using flash magic for uploading the code from the desktop system or laptop system to the microcontroller lpc2148 before doing that we need to have a clear idea about what are the pins available what are the registers that control those pins so we'll be referring to the data sheet provided by the manufacturer so lpc2148 is the ic we are going to use and the data sheet is available in the net just check through it this is the data sheet of lpc214 series they are given uh, most of the descriptions they have given features and they are given functional block diagram of lp214 and this is lpc2141 this is lpc2142 and this is what we are looking for lpc2148 from the diagram we are able to find out this particular ic has got 64 pins and you can we can clearly see that Uh, most of the pins in the ICs has got multiple functionality. That means a single pin can be used for multiple applications, or it a uh, single pin, uh, one pin can be uh, can act as a general purpose I/O. The same pin can act as a receive data for UART. A same pin can be an external interrupt. A same pin can be an internal interrupt. So we need to clearly configure the particular pin to whether it was it should work as a general purpose I/O or anything else. so further if we go this is the pin description they have provide, provided uh, starting from port 0 this particular processor has got two two ports named as port 0 and port 1 both the registers which is dealing with these ports are 32 bit but if you have a close look on it we are able to find out that port 0 has got <coughs> limited number of pins for the programmers and specifically port 0 has only 28 pins and port 1 has 15 pins the remaining remaining pins are not available for the programmers so let us have a close look the here uh, lpc1 lpc21 24 and 90 pin is 
port zero spin and it a port zero and it's the first pin of the port zero and see uh, it 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 work as a general purpose I O it uh, the same pin is work as a transmitter out for you are the same pin as work as a pulse width modulator output one so for our example we'll be going for the 19th pin that is zeroth pin of port zero and there is no restriction that always you'll go for the zeroth uh, pin of the first port we can go for any other for our example we just took so 19th pin has to be connected to the led for making to blink and if you further go you can see all the details and another thing we need to know is now we have actually found a pin and now we have to find which register is actually controlling these pins that can be also found out from the net see lpc2148 user guide So this is the user manual provided by the same company who is, who is manufacturing the IC and they have given all the data, the total pay number of pages is about 354, they have, they have given detailed report on all the registers, what are the bits should be set, how to configure everything, see and now we are going to look for a register named ping select. see here they have given a clear idea see there are three registers pin select 0 pin select 1 pin select 2 these registers are used to select one functionality from multiple functionality I already told you that the single pin in LPC I 2148 has got multiple functionality so uh, I think you remember that we have selected port 0 for our example that is particularly the first pin of port 0 so here they have given clearly and now if you go further they have given description see here <coughs> if we pass 0 0 to the first two bits of pin select 0 register it will make the first pin as GPIO and see it is giving all the remaining remaining pin and its and its functionality so what we understood from this is we'll be using a pin select register to select one particular function of the pin let us get back to the kale and we need to make note of few things that is the first one pin 19 of lpc21 is both zeros first pin and pin select register is used to select one functionality from multi-functionality the second register IO zero dark register once we select one functionality here we are going to select general purpose IO we are going to use the particular pin as general purpose IO once we select it as general purpose IO we need to configure further that whether the pin has to work as an input or an output pin for that we will be using this particular register and the third one IO zero set register it is used to make the particular pin of your port to go high high in the sense logic one this register IO zero clear register the same thing this register is used to make the particular pin as go high this logic one this register is used to make the respective one particular pin as logic zero so we come we, we got an idea about how to configure pins now let us go to the kale compiler uh, especially it's a cross compiler actually a normal turbo c will be called as compiler because it is going to compile the code with respect to the processor present in the desktop system the desktop system will be having an intel board or amd board so it will be doing the conversion of high language high level language to low level language with respect to the processor present in the the subsystem but we are not going to but in the embedded system it is not going to like that would going to be like that because we are going we are developing the code for the processor which is not present in the system inside the system the particular process is going to be outside so we'll be using a cross compiler there are multiple cross compilers available in the market kale avr ccs there is no big reason of selecting kale which is easily accessible you can just uh, so let's start from the so if we uh, have a close look on this diagram here there is this one c 
see the LED is connected to the to the particular pin. The plus is connected here, the minus is connected here. To make LED glow, we have to give a positive voltage here because already negative voltage is given the ground. So we need to write a logic into an LPC21 for it to make logic high here, that is plus voltage here. If you give plus voltage on this particular terminal, it is going to glow. And if you're going to give a negative then a negative voltage, it is not going to glow. So we have to write the logic like that. First we have to give logic 1, wait for some time, and then logic 0, wait for some time, and repeat the sequence for infinite times. So that is the logic behind it. Further we need to create a project, go for the projects, find a suitable location for a program, create a folder so that they can identify easily testing program inside that name the program project as testing also testing program see let to choose the browser which is available already here to show the sub features press ok it is asking whether it has to add the start of files we have to give yes here you can see the source group it has already given the startup code here now we have to cre create the logic in a separate file. Let us start developing here. So what I'm doing is, so since we're uh, going to use LPC2148, I'm just going to add the include file first. LPC, LPC. 214 x is the name of the header file they have provided and then create the logic let us start from the smallest two function among all the functions here the LED has to blink that is it has to glow for some time and it has to not glow for some time it has to glow for some time wait for it and then not glow for some time so we are going to create the wait program we'll be calling all that program as delay program so void name the I'm name just naming the function as delay sorry type errors delay and I'm going to pass a variable to the function it will be unsigned integer the name of the variable is time and we're going to write the logic inside it is going to do it is going to do something but it's not going to contribute any way for blinking it is going to consume some of the execution time so I'm creating a for loop here for the initial value is not in sliced so there is nothing here so the first one is time it is going to be greater than zero always and the time value is going to be decremented and inside I'm going to create another for loop another variable here which is going to be initialized as 0 and that is going to be less than 7000 or whatever value is t some less than some 2500 and I'm going to increment the value this is going to be executed once so I need a semicolon here and I'm creating a I'm using a variable here so I'm just declarating as unsigned integer t so what I have done here is a small function is going to consume some time but it's not going to do anything else when you're calling the function it is going to do some operations which is not going to contribute anyway to the blinking it is just going to consume some time now, now I'm going to create the main function main inside it I'm going to do all the remaining things as I already told you that we have 
resistors which is controlling the port pins so if you are passing the values to the register it is going to configure the pin so we are just going to deal with only the registers the first register is pin select 0 which is which will which is going to control port 0 I'm going to pass the value as 0 0 eight zeros that is each uh, these are hexadecimal numbers each hexadecimal number is going to repress, represent four binary values so totally 32 binary values because pin select zero register is a 32 bit register eight zeros and also I'm going to use another register pin select one it is also zero x eight zeros another register pin select it is also 0 x 0 0 the meaning of doing this is as I already know that each pin or most of the pin in ARM processor are multifunctional from the multiple functionality we are going to choose one functionality by passing values 0 0 0 all the bits to pin select 0 one and two registers these registers are making the port pins of LPC21 to work as general purpose input and output making all the pins of port 0 may not be all making first 16 pins of port 0 as as GP IO these are comments the second line also same making second 16 pins of port 0 as GP IO and this one making second 16 pins of port 1 as GP IO why you may ask why second 16 pin what happens with first 16 pins of port 1 first 16 pins of port 1 is not available for the programmers only second set of 16 pins are available for the programmers now we have made those pins to work as general purpose IO now I'm going is once a general purpose IO means it is going to either work as an input pin or an output pin so to make the LED glow we need to make the pins as output so I'm going to use the register IO0 they are is equal to 0 x 8 zeros this respective that is making the first 16 pins of port 0 as input but wait a moment where we know don't need to make it as input we need to make it as output so we should not pass the value as 0 0 0 0 we need to pass the value as f f f so we have to change it here as output and another register i o 1 they are is equal to 0 x f f f f this particular instruction that, that is making the here on wait a moment I almost forgot on the first 16 pin all the pins all the pins here all the pins of port 1 as output 
so what you have done so far is this set of these three instructions will make all the pins of ports as general purpose IO. These two instructions will make all the pins of the port work as output pin. Now we have just configured it. And now we are going to do the logic here. So far we have done only the configuration. Now only we are going to start the logic that is to make LED blink. That is, is to, in simple way to say that we need to make logic high that is logic 1 in one pin after some time we need to change it as logic 0 and the one second logic 1 one second logic 0 it has to go for infinite time so for that I'll be using the registers I was 0 set is equal to 0x 8fs making all the pins of port 0 as high that is logic 1 after that I am going to make it 0 by using this register I was clear is equal to 0 x FFF making all the pins of port 0 as low that is 0 I almost forgot we didn't do anything to the port 1 let us add those lines to the same is equal to 0 x semicolon making all the pins of port 1 as high IO 1 CLR is equal to 0 x FFF making all the pins of port 1 as low that's it the coding is over but what happens here is the execution will start from here it will configure the ports as general purpose IO and then it comes here it will configure the ports as output and will come here it will try to make all the pins logic 1 of port 0 and port 1 and they immediately will go for clearing it so what we have to add here is these things happen very quick that we won't be seeing the blinking so what to do is first we have to make it logic 1 the LED will glow now we have to call the delay with some values then after that once again a delay it will be calling some va with some values now what happens now is it will glow wait for some time it will not glow for some time and the program ends but we want to continue this blinking so what you do is just we need to make a infinite loop make the logic as one and put all the logic inside the one so now what happens here is after configuration this particular set of logic inside the while loop will be executed for infinite time let us save it name it as testing LED dot C it looks already there is a file called as so let us say it as one save it now the file is saved we need to add this logic 
in our LPC21. So go for the source group, right click it, add existing file, look for the C file. Okay, where did I keep it? Testing program, it is not in there. Testing LVS here. Let's add it. Close. Let us compile the code. Zero yes. Linking everything is fine. Rebuild it. Okay. But did the X file created? Let us check the settings here. Let us see the output is not created yet. Let us upgrade file. And we need to check this also. So that output. We are getting X file because we are going to store the X file in the program. Created X file. See, you can see the X file is created. So, yeah, fine. Let us debug the code. That is very similar to C. Since I'm using a demo board, demo version of the software is showing the that one. Let us see what um, what are things we need to look at. Is we are making the logic. So let us go for the peripheral, slow interface, and port zero. Everything is here, and uh, second port also these two. And we can also have the analysis here. Mm. Set up. We need to check the port. Which one? Let us have port zero dot zero. Okay. Close it. Let us execute the code. The code executing. We are able to see all the port pins of port zero and port one are blinking. Uh, as I already told you that we have connected the LED to the zeroth bit support. If you have a close look, wait. Um, oh, if you, you can have a okay. Let us start. Now we are able to see here at port. Zero zero the pin. It is providing the logic here. Let us freeze it for some time. Okay, here you can see at port zero zero the pin. It is giving the logic zero for some time, logic one for some time. So we are confident that the logic we have created is working. Now we are going to upload the code which we have developed using K into the processor. What we see here is the LPC2148 header board and the development board. This is the RS232 cable connected to the desktop system through which the code is transferred from the system to the board. This is the socket for providing voltages. Now by by using flash magic i'm going to upload the code once the code is uploaded inside we are able to see the respective led is blinking this led is already provided in the board since we have made all the pins in the port is to glow this particular LED is glowing we can also test the logic in the pins provided here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ribbon cable connect a LED and provide the respective voltage see with respect to this board here they are given different voltages the middle one is providing 3 volt this is providing 5 volt and this is going to provide 12 volt and see here is the green wire green wire is the cathode and this is the anode i'm just going to give the voltage from here and the other terminal to the zero to pin which is uh, which we have programmed 
and we are able to see this this logic is going to come all from all the pins the second pin the third pin the fourth on all okay 